Hello everybody, welcome to part 9 of my Let's Play Sim City Rome. Uh, yeah, so basically I'm starting it here because this is nearly finished. And, um, well, that last one is nearly finished. You know, we're well on the way with this now. That's over half done. Yeah, they haven't started on the lighthouse because they haven't got enough stone. Well, they'll do that once they finish the other projects. Also, the little colony we started to the north is going well. We've managed to keep hold of this. You know, although it does need one or two uh, things to keep it going. One or, one or two items. Yeah, overall, it's uh, we, yeah, we kept it going very well, and this is standard drive. You see, I've got another temple here, and another bathhouse, and and uh, yeah, so everything that a palace needs. But you know, that will obviously supply the houses here. So we're getting them moved up into into this. Now. You notice there's also a change in music. This is, you, you know, we're now at the uh, spectacular music because the city is, well, it is, um, it's starting to get really big. It's obviously spectacular. You have 15,000 people now. That's quite, that is quite a large city. Um, it's not quite capital size but I'd say it's well on the way it's a small capital so uh, yeah so I just wanted to uh, start this here so we could um, see the Colosseum uh, we finished after that I don't know what I do I might finish the LP this might be a very short let's play but even if it is, then that's no problem because it is a let's play, not a tutorial. Um, yeah, you know, I guess we could. Um, I guess we could build the last temple. Can find a place for it. Where should we put it? There's a temple there, so. We'll put it here. So uh, looks like it's sitting in the middle of nowhere for now, but of course that'll all be joined together. Now, um Oh yeah, that's another thing we could start on. That's a thing we could start on defence. But before we do I just want to show you something. This is marble, very sort of blocky life as you can see. Um obviously very hard and it looks very much like stone on the map not to be confused with stone stone's a bit of a light a more creamy colour on the map more big rounded pebbles whereas marble's more uh, a couple of spheres and you know sharp edges blocks in there that's marble so that's the difference there to collect marble you just build a marble quarry Because it won't build anywhere where there's no marble. It's right on there, right on the marble. Uh, put a path down the hill for them. Down the quarry. Now, um, in defence, we're going to build a wall around the city eventually. But before we. Um, do that we want to finish the city because we don't want to build the, uh, an area too small so you go into this little security thing here and we're going to build um, we're not going to build a wall, we're going to build gate houses you want plenty of these around the city if these are access to the city um, you know it's control it's all about control we'll have one here 
Okay, you know what I mean? The music is spectacular now. I love this sort of music. I mean, yeah, okay, I love modern music as well. Don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not some guy who just like, uh, just some freak with like ancient uh, music, but this is pretty uh, good stuff. So you can see I'm putting in plenty of gates. Doesn't make any difference which way they are orientated, as long as they're facing in out with you know, there. That's obvious. I'm putting them here to make sure there's access to trees. Okay, and we won't have a wall along here because this is the coastline, so... So we'll rotate this again. Now there will be an entrance to the city on here, or to the city map along here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but you've got to also put a gate right there. So we'll just build plenty of gates around the city. And then we can start on actually building some forts. You know, and they take a while to um to start producing soldiers because they've got to produce the swords. So we want one here. Oh, we've also got access to the stuff. Oh, right, this is the access to the map here, where this little flaggy thing is. So, yeah, you want one there, and you want one here, because that's access to the stone. Um, we'll put one. There's no access route here, but we'll put one here. Um. No, we don't need a gate there, we'll just build a wall along there. And obviously, you know, we want a gate here. Because we'll build the wall like almost square and straight down here, so we've got plenty of space in here. Uh, so they've got access. Um, and that's about it, I did We'll build one more, one more here. So you can see there, I've got probably going on between 10 and 20 gates around um, around my city. 10 minutes to. Um, yeah, another 5 minutes on this LP I think. Oh, and the Blumen Colosseum does not seem to be building. Now, I did scrap the jetty because I couldn't get it to work. I have done before, so I've just built a bridge across here. Um, but now we've got this planned out, we can build, you know, we can build Pass from this gate down to the stone. A little bit of work is here down there. We can build this path up to this gate. So the marble workers will eventually be able to get in and out. And of course, the access to the city, which is over here. We can build a big road coming in here. So, you know, there's access. There's ways in and out. Oh, a the noise from outside. Um, yeah, well, that's neat over here. This does not seem that. This is really annoying me now. This does not seem to want to finish. It's just typical when I started my L LP. Because this was going really, really quick before I did this. This was flying up. It had lots of stone in it was, you know, it was going up like once every couple of minutes. And now it just seems to stop to make me look stupid. Yeah, so hurry up workers. I'm going to be out of time before I've got a chance to, or you've got a chance to see that. Well, if it happens, I'll, I'll record it and, and I'll um, add it on the end of this LP, so you can see what happens. Nothing much really, it just shows you a little clip. Then it, it does that for all the wonders, but you're just wanting to see what happens and then that's it, you know what happens for all the wonders. Hmm. 
Yeah, we haven't done much in this LP. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm really dis disappointed. I was expecting that those wonders would, well, that wonder would finish. So I'm really, really disappointed about that. Um. Well, let's make us down security instead. So we need to decide places to put a fort. The three forts, actually. Um, here would be a good place for one. Put them pretty much next to each other. If you've got, you know, a game where you're going to be fighting wars, then you probably want to put these like on separate point, different points around the city. But for this, we're not going to be fighting any wars, so we have no need to do that. Good news. Because we've got an edge here, I can show you how to build a wall between these two gates. Pretty simple. Tall drag and drop. Put it all in there, between them. Does that go in? That's it. Along the side. Okay, um, well I'll show you how to get soldiers in there in a minute. But obviously they won't do anything until, um, uh, uh, until they've got swords and javelins and stuff, which is they don't need, but, you know. So, this is just a watchtower to protect your city from wild animals. We don't have any of them, so we don't need it. This just, uh, basically protects your city from fire. This, um, you know, it's just a platform for defenders to stand up on and fight barbarians. You want these if you're in a war game, but we're not, so I'm going to keep it simple and build a wall. The walls one can be one to two wide, and you just start here. And you see, you just drag it. Here. Yeah, it's gone in, but it doesn't matter, it's just because there's a a rock face there and just drag it up to this gate just like that and there we are we have our first little boundary here on the edge and you see that's come up on the map with a big black line so yep yeah, and then we just fill this out beautification and there we have our first and foremost uh, we have our first boundary our first wall so, just before I go, because the blooming uh, game wants to make me look stupid and doesn't want to build a uh, Colosseum, which it'll probably do as soon as I finish recording. So you can tell I'm not too happy about it. Okay, what to put in here? How about we have some large, large trees? Oh yeah, you can't put it in there, that's right, because of the walls there. You can't put it within one space of the wall. It's pretty dumb, you know, you don't know So I'm just going to put a row of trees in here. I know it sounds boring, but it all helps. This is going to be quite beautiful. Um, the edge of the city will eventually all of it look like this. Right, well, I'm just about out of time, but one final thing we're going to do is build a sword maker, and here it requires iron, that's why I built the iron mine in his earlier hour of pain, so we've got a supply of iron for him. Um, I don't know if uh, we can reach the warehouse here. And finally, a javelin maker, and he needs wood as well as iron. I don't know if we've even got a supply in the city. Um, what's that? Yes, we've got some iron. Obviously, no javelins. 
And surely we must have plenty of wood. Yeah, we have loads and loads and loads of wood. So, you know, it's got loads of uh, materials available to them. Okay, well, I'm afraid that I definitely know I'm out of time now. If that crossing does finish, I'll just add it on the end. In fact, I will add it on the end. But until next time, you know, um, it's been Silence of Thousand Nine Bora, and happy YouTube.